This is the new BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe, the four-door version of BMW's flagship coupe. And here are the Colwire top 10 things you need to know about it. Up front, the BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe looks almost identical to the two-door model, but it gets a taller roof and a steeper windscreen. Around the sides, the differences are much easier to spot. Obviously, the Grand Coupe has four pillarless doors, but it also has been stretched and has a longer sloping roof. Around the back, the car looks like a hatchback, but it's actually a saloon, with a boot that's only slightly bigger than the coupes. But which wins the battle of a four-door coupe cool? Click on the top right-hand corner of your screen to vote which you think looks the best. The 8 Series Grand Coupe, the Porsche Panamera, the Mercedes AMG GT four-door, or the Maserati Quattroporte. The BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe goes on sale in September with a starting price of £69,000. That buys you a 340 horsepower 840i petrol with a 3 litre engine and rear wheel drive. Need more performance? Then you'll want the M850i X drive with a 530 horsepower 4.4 litre V8, four wheel drive, and a price tag in excess of £100,000. Anyway, to avoid paying too much for your next car, click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to go to CarWow to check out the best deals from our trusted dealers. To ensure the Grand Coupe drives as well as the normal 8 Series, BMW has made a serious effort to keep the weight down. As a result, large portions of the car, like the bonnet, are made from aluminium, while the centre tunnel is made from carbon fibre reinforced plastic. The dashboard, however, is supported by a magnesium frame and the boot lid is moulded from plastic. You can even specify a pricey carbon fibre roof if you want. As a result, the Grand Coupe weighs just 70 kilos more than the two-door model, which is pretty much about the same weight as me. By making the 8 Series Grand Coupe bigger than the two-door model, BMW has made it more spacious on the inside. Up front, you get more head and elbow room, while the large rear doors make access to the back seat easy. Instead of a rear bench, the Grand Coupe has two spacious individual back seats with a tiny third seat squeezed in the middle. Now, BMW calls this configuration 4 plus 1, which kind of works, but only if your plus 1 is Richard Hammond sized. As you'd expect, the 8 Series Grand Coupe gets BMW's top of the range infotainment system as standard. This includes a 12 inch digital instrument binnacle and a 10 inch central screen. This can be controlled by touch, using gestures, or via the iDrive control wheel between the two front seats. BMW's personal assistant voice activation system is also fitted. It can understand spoken commands, so if you say, hey BMW, I'm stressed out, it'll call the cabin, pump soothing music through the speakers, and even administer a light massage if you've bought the optional massage seats. Brilliant. The new 8 Series Grand Coupe comes with an 8-speed automatic gearbox and a choice of two petrol and one diesel engine. Kicking off the range is the rear-drive 340 horsepower 840i, which gets from 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds. The second petrol is the range-topping M850i, and it can do 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. However, the 320 horsepower 840d 3-litre diesel makes the most sense. It has four-wheel drive and can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds, which is pretty respectable. And it also returns 45 miles per gallon, a figure that's about 50% better than what the M850i manages. Not that anyone who can afford that car cares. As the flagship of the BMW range, the 8 Series Grand Coupe is not short on kit. Leather comes as standard and you get electrically adjustable and heated front seats. Wireless charging for your mobile phone is also standard, as is four zone climate control with individual ventilation settings for the four corners of the car. To go with your flagship model, you also get a flagship key called the BMW Display Key. Coming complete with its own colour screen, it means you can check the car's remaining fuel range and double check you've locked it remotely, though the key is bulky and a little bit pointless to be fair. The new 8 Series Grand Coupe gets a sporty setup. All models get adjustable suspension and X-Drive four-wheel drive cars add four-wheel steering, which makes the Grand Coupe more manoeuvrable at low speeds and more agile in fast corners. Finally, there's the M Sport differential, which you get standard on both petrol models, allowing you to slide the Grand Coupe out of bends like a drift merchant. Or they probably don't do that with a family on board because they'll probably complain or be sick. The 8 Series Grand Coupe might sit at the top of the BMW range, but that hasn't stopped the Germans from squeezing in a few, actually uh, quite a few features for the options list. 
Don't fancy the sound of the measly 9-speaker 205-watt standard stereo? Then why not go for the 464-watt Harman Kardon sound system? Or just head straight for the 1400-watt Bowers & Wilkins Bone Shaker? Want your steering wheel and armrest heated? Of course you do. Therefore, you need the heat comfort package. And all this means, if you're not careful, it's easy to add the cost of a brand new family hatchback to the price of your 8 Series simply by adding some options. The new 8 Series Grand Coupe comes with basic autonomy, such as automatic emergency braking, as standard. But to get the cleverest self-drive kit, you'll need to specify the driving assistant professional package. Click on that in the configurator and your 8 Series will be able to drive and steer itself on the motorway and in traffic. It also adds Evasion Assist, which can automatically help steer you around an object if it thinks you're going to crash into it. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos, and if you click on the deals box to the right, you can see how much you can save on a new car at CarWow. Or click on the video windows below to watch another of my videos.